Hello everyone, welcome again to Jira Cloud Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk more about the classic projects in Jira Cloud. So in the previous tutorial, we have talked a lot more detail about the NextGen project and briefly covered how you can create and understood some of the key details of the NextGen project, what are the limitations. Let's understand the features that are supported in the uh, classic project. So classic project we have already created uh, when we were signing up for Jira. So let me switch to the classic project. And if you go to the menu, that is uh, the sidebar menu here, you will see the menu is quite different as compared to the next gen project, right? So you have uh, the board and then you have the backlog, which looks pretty similar to the uh, Jira server version where you have the backlog and you can you know like create uh, the sprint but if we uh, you know uh, uh, switch to the uh, next gen project then uh, we don't see that you you because this is the kanban let me uh, do one thing let me create a next gen project which is basically you know uh, a scrum project and then we'll compare so let me create a next gen project with the scrum template rather than uh, and I'll say uh, RCV next gen scrum in this case because the previous one was the Kanban. Let me change the template so we can compare the classic and next gen and you can understand the differences easily. Okay, so let it create the project. So this is your next gen scrum project and you have the columns here that are by default to do in progress and done. And to add a new column, you have the create column plus button there. Uh, in the next gen scrum project, you have the roadmap, backlog, board. Then you have, we have seen the code, pages, uh, and I can add different links and the project settings. Now, if I go to the classic project, you will see the classic project is very much different and very similar to the Jira server version. So I have the board that will be available and then I have the backlog. So this is the scrum project as well, which is the classic software project. I have the backlog wherein I can have the backlog items for the particular product to be built. Um, and then I have the option to create sprint. If I go to the next gen project, uh, which is the scrum, let's go to the backlog and see what all options are available there. Okay, so roadmap uh, we have seen. So let's go to roadmap. I can create the epics in the roadmap, right? And in the backlog, I have, um, I can add the backlog, right? So this is the next gen project. Then I can add the backlog item and I can also create this print, okay? In the board, it looks pretty similar to what we have at the moment for the classic project. So I have to do in progress done. I can add more columns. Um, and then if I go to the classic project of the scrum, you will see that I have to do in progress and done. Okay. And if I have to basically, you know, customize this particular board, I have to go to the board settings, the three ellipses here, go to the board settings. And then here in the columns, I can add the columns from here. So I can add the column and uh, then i can also add the statuses in this particular uh, you know new statuses for example i want to create a new status say in review i can simply say in review uh, which is existing status i'll use that and click on that particular status i can add the column in review and simply add the column I can move this particular, you know, column and you can see the status has been mapped to that particular, you know, column because the name of the status was similar to what I have provided the name for this particular column. So this uh, representation or this view is very similar to the Jira server version. And this is the main difference between the classic and next gen projects in Jira. When we talk about the classic project, classic project will provide you a lot of capability to customize the board and the workflow underlying those boards. But when we talk about the next gen project, these functionalities and details are not available there. Okay, so I have 
if I go to the reports, you will see that all the reports that are available in the server version are also available in this classic project. But if I switch to the next gen project, you won't be seeing any reports by default enabled there. So in order to enable the four reports that are available in the next gen project, you have to go to the project settings and then in the project settings, you will go to the features in the left hand side and you will see reports is available there, right? So if I, by default, it's disabled. If I enable that and go back to the project, you will see the reports are available here. And if you click on the reports, you will see the four reports, the burn up report, sprint burn down, velocity report, and cumulative flow diagram report are being available now. Okay, so these are some of the key differences that are there between the classic and next gen project. And uh, there are a lot of differences in terms of project settings as well. Let me switch to the, you know, classic project uh, of Scrum. And we have seen the report then in terms of, you know, like the um, reports we have seen uh, a lot of, uh, that's the next gen. Let me switch to the classic one, sorry, this one. And here we had seen uh, the reports that are available, right? So these are very similar to the server version of the report that we have seen in our previous tutorials. Then you have the option for issues, um, what all filters are available. We can create new filters, save the filter, and also you know, use those filters on boards or any other reports that are available in Jira. And I can create components. I can do integration with other development tools. And then I have the option for releases, pages, which is basically the integration with the confluence, right? So uh, I can use pages once I integrate uh, this particular, you know, Jira software cloud with the uh, confluence. So I can create uh, the page and simply I can, you know, use that particular page into my classic project. Okay. So let me close this as of now and go back, go back to Jira here. So, and then I have this add item, which is basically to add a shortcut repository or pages, right? And once I cancel that, I can go to the project settings and project settings will be uh, very similar or, you know, if we go to the project settings, you will see that you will find a lot of similar information as we have seen in the server version of Jira for the project settings and we'll cover all these project settings in detail in our upcoming tutorial. But because this tutorial is just to give you a brief overview of the differences between the next gen project and the classic project in Jira. So we have briefly covered the, you know, differences, uh, what all key differences that we can notice when we first browse through the classic project and next gen project in Jira. Now in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and understand how we can create the issues in the project. So what we'll do is we'll start with the classic project of Jira because that will be very widely used as such in the product development. And then we'll also walk through the next gen project and some of the key features once we cover the classic project in the first phase of this particular tutorial series. So we'll cover each and every bit from very basic and then move to the next gen project and then the administration concept, which will be helpful for the project manager, scrum masters or anybody managing the scrum teams or the Kanban teams for the development. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.